Hello everybody, James here from It's Much More and we're playing a port of Postal for the Sega Dreamcast. It's the beta version, this was made by Dan Redfield and Chinchilla Retro. So it came out on the 24th of December 2021 and they say that the fully working beta is coming out early 2022. So yes, let's take a look at this then shall we? So I'm a fan of the Postal series and the franchise, so I've played Postal 2 on the PC, Postal 1 and the any DLCs as well, I've played those as well, I quite like them. So before we look at the beta version of Postal that was recently released for the Dreamcast, we're going to take a look at the alpha version and compare it side by side with the PC version as well, the full PC version. So the alpha build is on the left and the PC version is on the right. As you can see the menus are very similar, some of which on the Dreamcast version on the left that don't currently work or didn't work on the alpha build. Here's the interesting part, multiplayer online appeared in the alpha build of Postal for the Dreamcast. But yeah, none of the options actually worked. But it did show you something could happen via the online side of things because we do have games that allow you to connect via IP address currently on the Dreamcast. So it shows you that all the challenges, level selects and everything is still present in this build. There you go, there's all the different levels you can pick and choose from. And that's it. That is the Postal Alpha build side by side of the full retail build. And now let's take a look at the beta version, which is available to download in the description of this video. So first off, we're going to look at the options screen, as I normally do. Let's change the coat color of the player. It's obviously going to be blue for Dreamcast, but there's other colors you can choose from. The controls show you the controls for the Dreamcast, with a nice lock-on feature pressing the B button over there, you can see. The audio side of things is grayed out, so you can't select that. So let's start a game. We're going to choose a new campaign. Going to keep it on postal and keep it as normal. So here we go. This is the level that you're going to start off with, which is home, which is I'm guessing postal dude's house or his home. So there we go. It looks quite nice, as you can see, using the left analog to move around, and also when you walk past buildings and objects, you actually can still see your character. Yeah, and it plays awesome. Just watch out for those rockets being fired. Yes, this is really good. It's a really good port, and uh, it's running really well. The alpha version before, as they did say, it does crash and it does restart. But this one, I've had no issues so far. With a nice lock-on feature by holding down B and R as well. Locks onto that character that you're trying to shoot. But yeah, load times are great as well. I've tried this via GDEMU and Immolation as well. Both run perfect. I've no not noticed any slowdown issues on the levels I've played. There's Santa Claus there as well. Keep the festive feel going on. But he's a bad Santa because he's throwing bomb-like presents towards me. But this postal I've had got really fond me memories of because, uh, like I said, I've got the PC version of this. Big fan of the series as well. And yeah, it's great to see this on the Sega Dreamcast. And great work from Dan Redfield and the team to get this on the Dreamcast. So yeah, really, really happy to see this. And looking forward to later builds and the final release as well. So... In the video description, I'll put details on Games Reup's videos or where he took a look at the alpha version in more detail and also the Dreamcast Junkyards video as well when they played this beta version. So I'll put that in the details below in the description and at the end of this video as well. You can find other videos that I've done for the Sega Dreamcast. A good little thing here which shows if you press A, it then restarts the level So because you've died. So instead of it crashing on the alpha, but a uh, nice fade out transition there when you press start to go on to the next level or if you want to quit the game back to the main menu. So let's choose another level. Let's go on the easy mart then, shall we? The next level. Just going to have a quick look at this. What? You don't sell postal? So apparently this shopping mall doesn't sell postal. But uh, yeah, look how nice this is and how it plays really well. I'm using the Dreamcast standard controller. But uh, the keyboard and su mouse support isn't included currently. But uh, if there's enough requests for it, that could be added later on down the line. And also the online side of things hasn't been added on this beta version. But this isn't the final version of the game. If the community wants it, and if they're happy to work on it, then by all means that could be added because clearly you saw there at the start of this video that was included in the alpha version of this build of this game but yeah as you can see here I'm not doing too good I'm sticking with the machine gun style gun I know you can probably change to different guns but I'm just going to stick with the machine gun guard trying out the lock on feature as well 
what a mess in this shopping mall there. I'm trying not to, to take out the standard pedestrians and shoppers, but uh, or the people, but yeah, I didn't do too good there. What? You don't sell postal? So let's try one more level then, shall we? Let's head onto the main menu screen and let's select a, what level we're we gonna do. Because we mentioned the Dreamcast Junkyard, let's go to the Junkyard then, shall we? Keep it on normal difficulty as well. So yeah, something different. You don't normally see ports like this appearing on the Dreamcast. Um, something that no one expected, but I'm really glad that it has made its way to the Dreamcast. It's it's good to play through. I'm going to really look forward to playing through some of the story, and if I find any bugs or anything like that, I'll report it to Dan Redfield and, and Chinchilla Retro as well. So yeah, as you can see here, environments as well, because I'm going to blow up the canisters in a moment to show you some of the fire effects, because to take out some of those enemies. There you go. There's one of the canisters. I didn't even do that. Someone else did that for me. But you can blow them up because look, here we go. Let's take out this guy. Then this other guy's going to run down here. So let's blow up those canisters when he walks by. Boom, there you go. So using the B button as well is a nice focus lock on, as I've mentioned before. And using the left analog to move. So yeah, what a great little game there. Wasn't expecting it. If this does get a full retail release or kickstarter or anything like that at all i'm gonna back this because big fan of this game big fan of the series and big fan of anything like this to be ported onto the dreamcast and that is it that is the beta version of postal for the sega dreamcast or dream postal hopefully you've enjoyed this video let us know in the comments below if you like this i'll put details on how you can download this for yourself and also you take care of yourself and we'll see you soon all the best Bye bye